Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. Woo so thank you so much for launching me into the second round of voting for the Miss Health and Fitness Cover Model Challenge. You have no idea how much this means to me. It's like one of those things, you know, when things come full circle and you've kind of always dreamt of yourself being on a cover. I'm not there yet, but I will be. And thanks to you guys, my team. Thanks for your votes on a daily basis because that's really what it means. And I'm going to post the schedule because, like, you know, I just got to top 20. Now I've got to get to top 15, top 10, top 5. There's a wild card. There's something else in there. Then there's quarterfinals, semifinals, finals, the final. Something like that. Anyways, so it is truly for the next eight weeks. I'm not even kidding you. So that's why if, please don't get upset that, you know, you continuously see me uh, posting and asking and, and stuff. So I just want to thank you so much for getting me there. And what's most important is just this week is that I'm going on holidays. I have a friend monitoring my account. Um, but this is the week that's going to be so important that you guys are in there daily to help me out because I'm going to be canoe camping and I'm not going to need, be near Wi-Fi or anything. Um, and so I'm going to be sending out those reminders. But okay, now I just want to say thank you. I want to get up here and um, and just tell you how much I appreciate you guys, um, all of you, all of your votes, those who have been purchasing um, going towards the charity. That's amazing. Next week, I'm meditating on this. Um, when I win, I'm going to be donating over half of my winnings to charities and um, that are near and dear to my heart. And I'm just reaching out to those people right now. So um, for their support as well. Uh, and I'm going to announce that next week, probably on Monday when I get back. Get, and then I'm going, then we're going out camping again uh, for four days. And I'm also going to be doing some giveaways and you guys can get in there and um, uh, get for X number of votes. You can get some digital pictures from me, um, a voice video. So anyways, there's a lot of things that I'm adding to the, the challenge. Um, but anyways, I know you're here to work out. Me too. I was up late to like one o'clock working. So I was like, but I'm here because it's Friday and I need to get my workout in. And so do you. And I've got a busy day because we're leaving for camping this afternoon. So if you've ever been <laughs> leaving on a holiday, you know what it's like. It's like, ah, got everything on the go. But anyways, mwah, appreciate you. Vote above before you get started. Okay. So today's workout is more body bands so bands or just straight um body weight and uh so we always start with a 90 minute warm-up and so here we go so everybody's all busy upstairs so it might be a little bit might be a little bit loud until they go swimming Swimming. All right. All right. So let's get into warming up our joints. If you don't want to jump, you can just sort of step back. Make sure you're moving your arms. Getting those shoulders ready. Excellent work, guys. Keep it rolling. Warming up. I hope you're not just sitting there watching me with your coffee. Better be getting ready. Warm up. 
down the floor working out. And I'm just gonna let you know that a lot of people have been commenting about my physique. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna let you know right now, it happened over the last five months. Not a word of a lie. I'll post it before and after. I did not have like these shoulders before. So just so you know, if you go to my YouTube channel, you can follow um, week one to now and commit yourself to working out every day for 30 minutes, fit it in, get it in early uh, in the day, um, schedule everything around it, do it, um, get your nutrition down pat, your sleeping, your stress and everything, and you'll just watch things happen. I'm just like, just watch things happen. Okay, so let's get some water. I'm gonna show you our, ooh. Okay, so we're connecting the lanyard um, or whatever knotted piece of rope you have into the door. Okay, I make sure I lock it because it has swung open before. All right. So what we're doing, we've got our heavy band and we're, I added weights for this one. So I have a kettlebell or if you have like a dumbbell, you can use that. So this is 20 pounds. I'm just gonna use this here. So we're kneeling down, up, up down, hip thrust forward, okay, one, two, three, four, boom, okay, so you can stretch this a lot further, if you want more resistance on the hips, boom, okay, so that's number one, number two, okay, this is kind of cool, I'm just move this down, okay, so you take your band, and you're going to double it up. And you're going to get down. And you're going to get your legs in like this. So it's around your knees. You're going to take your weight. Ready? So up, out, in, down. Okay, so let's try this without the bent. So up into your bridge, right up on your shoulders. Press out down. So you can up, out, up, out. So you can see, you could, you could just do this without bands and then you can add your weight. I think I'm going to use a dumbbell because this doesn't sit really nice on the abdominal area. Yeah, I'm just going to bring a 20 pounder over. Okay. And then the side leg. So I opted for something a little easier so we're going to double it up again so this is a right and left so you wrap your band around here you're going to squat and bring it in squat bring it in so you have to feel the resistance on the leg makes it want to pull it out you see that so you don't you want to like pull so control out down, up. Okay, so all the time you're got your abs engaged, same time, and I'll try not to worry about my pants. <laughs> Just like riding up. Okay, you guys ready? All right. Let's get back into this one. Hips. Bring the 20 pounder in. All right, so you can, if you have a weighted vest, you can use this instead, but this is a 20 pounds, so I don't have a 20 pound vest. Thrust, down, up. Good. Boom, 15. Excellent. 
I want to tell you something, friends. Boom. My legs definition since I started my workouts, which I don't think had anything to do with my cycling, are crazy. I don't know if you can see it, but all right. Up, out, down, out, up, and down. So I'm going to add the weight for round two. Good. And right up on those shoulders, down, tighten those abs, and power out. Good. Excellent. Come on, 10. Boom. 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 Woo! Oh my gosh. Love those. So I'm just going to get this ready for the next one. I'm going to use this one here. So the nice thing about having the body bands is that, of course, just like the booty bands, you get three different resistances. So I see I'm already using two here. Step in, abs tight, down, squat, in, down, squat, in. So you can really feel in the leg, inner thigh. Boom. Good. And up. So you can just, you can step out, in if you don't have the bands. Don't forget to breathe. Good. Five. Boom. All right. It's the fun part. You get to see my backside. Everything nice and tight, glutes tight. Don't let your legs snap out. Control. That's one thing about the bands is you got control in, control out. Boom. 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 Good. 16. Ooh, good inner thigh workout. Boom. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Back to this one. I've got myself all set up. 20 pounds. So round two, guys. Excellent. Boom. Woo! 20 seconds. Good job. Add that 20 pounder right here. Out, in, up, in. Good. Really feel it right there. Awesome. You, like I said, you don't need the bands, you don't need the weights, you just do the exercise. 15. Oh, yeah. Good. Keep going. 
Boom. Oh. Wow. That feels really good. Okay. Let's get back to the double leg. Squat and in. So you can bring that weight back if you want. Good. Bring it in. Out and pull. So you're working the inner thighs. Good. We all like to tighten those inner thigh muscles. Tighten the skin. Good. Excellent. Woo. 15. Good. Excellent. Woo. All right. Let's switch up. I'm just going to get this one ready for our round three. Bring it in. Squat. Bring it in. Good. Boom. Boom. Good. Boom. Excellent. Let's go. 15. Woo. Yes. All right, time for water. Round. Let's get this done. Stretch it a little bit more. Up, out. That's a nice thing. Bands. You want to make it harder? You just stretch it out a little bit more. Good. And up, down. Right up on those shoulders. Good. Oh yeah. Last two, boom, and in, boom, and in. And like I say, we should always toughen it up on the last one. Let's do this. And in, boom, oh yeah. Last round. Bring it in, bring it in, good. Stretch it out a little bit further. Make it a little bit harder. Good, 12. Oof. Oh my gosh. Boom. Boom. Oh wow. Okay. All 
Okay, last time you'd see my butt. Squat and in. And in. Out and in. Good. Core tight. Go fifteen. Good. Oh. Awesome. Oh. Okay. Legs are done. How they feel? Like give them a little flex. Ooh. Okay. So we're moving to arms and we're going to be moving our lanyard up to the top of the door, okay? Because we're going to be doing some downward motion exercises. So if you have a doorway, take this, put it up here, and close. Good. And lock her. Lock her up. All right. So let's... Get yourself ready. All right, just take that out. Okay, so the first one, it might be between the easy and the harder band for you. And we're just going to crank this down a teensy bit. Okay, so we're in this position. And we're going to pull once, twice, together. Okay? One. So you're going to hold your band tight here. Two, together. Okay? So that's number one. Number two is so we're going to go up here. You're going to put it in like this. You come down here. And we're basically going to be pulling back. Okay, so really bringing those shoulder blades together. So imagine this if you want to pinch a pencil in between your shoulder blades. So that's where you're bringing them right together. You bring them right together, hold and release. Hold and release. And then the next one is a right and left, and we're basically pulling down and up down and up. Okay, so that's a right and left. Alrighty. Awesome. I might just put this one in here. Okay. Alright. Let's get started with our seated row. little sip here. Mm. Always make sure you have water, electrolytes, give you more energy than straight up water. Okay. Not to mention they flood your body with minerals that we need. All right, let's do this back straight. One, two, together. One, two, together. Head up. One, two, together. Core tight. One, two, together. Breathe. Two, together. One, two, ten. Squeeze those back. So just like the one we're going to do next, you're squeezing. All right, let's go down here. Ready? And squeeze, release, squeeze, 
So here, if you want a little bit harder, you can tempo. One, two, three. 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 Good. And squeeze and release. Awesome. All right, now scooching close to your door. You're going to be pulling down. Down. And up. It's almost a little bit of biceps in there too. Down. Down. Keep your head up. Nice straight posture. Right? You don't need to like round it like this. Okay, you have to think about core tight, shoulders back. Always thinking about this. And pull. 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 15. Go other side. All right, let's do this. Down and up. Down and up. Good. Head up, shoulders back, core tight, tight your glutes. This one, and I'm gonna try the black band. The only downfall, oh yeah, this is good. All right, let's do this. Make it a little bit harder, and together. Good. Round two, one, two, three. Squeeze that back, good. One, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, let's do this. And down. Good, squeeze the back. Core tight, glutes engaged. You can lean a little bit so you really engage the abs and the legs. Good. The only downfall with these bands is that they have a limit. Otherwise, they're amazing to use. They're so comfortable. Good. Bring those shoulders back. Excellent. And up. All right. Let's scooch forward towards our door. Last round for round two. And bring it down. And you could do a little extension so you almost get like shoulder, biceps, triceps. Up. And 
extend. And out. Boom. Boom. Good control. Everything's nice and tight. Shoulders back. Don't round your back. You want to have everything engaged, so you're always working your abs and your back, strengthening them. You know, the stronger they are, the less chance of back injuries, stuff like that. So if you're prone to having a weak back, it's because the core ain't tight, right? Because your core is attached to your lower back. Like these muscles, are all attached. So it's strengthening everything and back. So up, back, and stretch. Good. Boom. And breathe. Good. Going 12, building up those arms, upper body. You know, even as a cyclist, it's ideal to have that strong core. All right, guys, back for round three. Let's do this. We're just plowing through this. One, two, and this one, you can actually grab it a little bit further in. This one's got a little bit more give. This is good. Tight. One, two, together. Core tight. One, two. My pinky's like cramping. That's weird. Two. One, two, one, two, oh yeah, pull it, oh. all right, let's actually try this one, let's get them all in here. more give. Good. Bring those elbows out, forward, so out, not down by your, your sides. You want them out and up. Out and up. Out and up. Boom. Good. Let's just try this one up for size. Okay. Mm. All right, so this last round and down. Up and down. That works. I like it. And up. It's just the grip. Good. Okay. Let's do this. your teeth grit it's hard enough this is round three after all and this is where you really push yourself and breathe ten good all right This one works well. Thumbs up. 
Just strong enough that it's not impossible. feel. Are you ready for abs? Okay. Oh, grab a water. Okay, so this is nine minutes and uh, we're just going to crank it down here and away from the wall. Ooh, I want that to fall on me. All right, so the first one is the bear leg extension. So you're up in this position and you're going to extend out like that. In. Okay, it's got nothing to do with bands. Okay, then you're lying flat and we're going to work on our obliques. Okay, so from here, you're going to rotate, center, rotate, center, rotate. So your legs are nice and straight, pointing, and you're just focusing on the side to side, okay? Then, so these are like micro movements. And the reason why we do micro movements and abs is that we really target the muscles, it's like forcing everybody to, forcing you just to slow down and really engage all the muscles, okay? So, so like the side to side, up, it's gonna be one, slow, down, slow, out, okay? So your whole focus right here is pressing your belly button down to the floor. Okay? You guys ready? I'm ready. Because after this, the day is starting. Craziness. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Up for the bear. And extend out. Good. Keep those knees up. Twenty. Remember, it's okay to take a break, but you got to come back. Your breaks are like a couple seconds. All right. Center, side, slow it down, really press that belly in, boom, boom, let's do this 20. How badly do you want abs, right? 10 minutes a day. Good nutrition. And bam, you're gonna see them. Okay, so up 
Belly button to the floor. Ready? One, two, open. One, two. Good. Slow it down. Press that back. Don't let it lift. Okay. Press. One. Boom. Two. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Right back to the bear. Up off your knees. Extend. It's a twisty. Straight. Round two, let's do this. Belly button flat, back flat. Okay, let's do this. Slow, slow, open. Keep it going. Lift up your head a little bit harder. Oh. Oh. All right, last round, everybody. Come on, friends, let's go team.
Last two. Let's do this. Up, side, center, side. Excellent, come on, 20. Head up, shoulders up, 10. Oh. All right. Team. Let's go. Last one. One. Good. Boom. job. Almost done, guys. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, all right. We're done. Oh, way to go. Oh my gosh. Those are good. Those were good. Okay, so we're going to finish up with a little bit of a stretch so you can follow me or you can do your own stretching, whatever. Make sure you do do something at the end just to ensure your flexibility because it's one thing to work out, but if you're hindered by your inflexibility, then you're never gonna get a solid workout, right? So stretching is so crucial um, for everybody. Since we're like spending more time in front of the computer, sitting, maybe not being as active, and it's really, really important to get down on the ground and, and start stretching it out. So let's just do that. And equally, if you're a cyclist or a runner, I always, always stress this is so important um, because it will hinder your performance, right? Injuries, um, just basically um, not being as uh, um, powerful. Like you're just held back by your inflexibility. So. In. There's so many other exercises you could do, but honestly, as long as you do something, you're way ahead of the game. Better than doing nothing. All right, so right here, tabletop, so you like really engage those abs and release and up and release. up into downward dog and squat down and up down and up right here Child's pose. Mm. 
Sorry if I fall asleep here. Okay. Last one. Last one for the legs. Push those toes out. Stretch them down. Out and down. So you might be going like, WTF, I cannot do that. Well, get started now because you will be before you know it. And uh, to tell you a little story, um, I've been doing that stretch for probably two decades just to make sure that I can, I have my flexibility and I just keep doing it every day, every other day. Um, it's one of the things that ensures that, you know, everything from my neck to my heels is okay and ready to go. So with that, thank you very much for showing up. Thank you for voting. Love you. Keep the votes coming. And um, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys.